Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you hit reactions and creating an AI that also takes hit reactions. And for this tutorial, I'll be using the ACF Ultimate sample. Let's go ahead and get started. And I'll just create, I'll create a melee one in this case because my action set will match exactly what they're gonna be using. So I'll do cow underscore melee enemy. And you can do this with whatever. Um, I might start doing some tutorials using Cinti graphics because I really like those graphics. And now I'll open the full blueprint to create an AI. And under my mesh, I'm just gonna select my animation blueprint, which is my simple ABP. And then I'll select the skeletal mesh that it will be. And I'll scale it down because I like to use half of the actual size. And now you're gonna wanna make sure that in the equipment, it has that melee weapon. So it has an item dot melee weapon and the starting item is gonna be ACF sword. And it's also gonna have a health potion, which I don't want because I'm trying to destroy this guy for the tutorial. And now in my ACF actions component, you're gonna wanna make sure that the action set is set to the one that I made or you made in this case. So I'll set it to this one because the animations are correct. If it's using the default ACF ones, your skeleton may not match, but if you've rigged your character to the ACF skeleton, or just retarget it to it, then yeah, you're totally fine. You can just leave that as is. Now, all I'm gonna do is just drag and drop this character and let's see if he wants to start fighting. So if I go up to him, he's gonna take a sword out and he's not hitting me. So let's check out what's going on. All right, so the reason why my character was not taking damage is because when I go to my actions set, I set my damage to activate as physical damage. I want it to be left and right weapon in this case. And this is actually pretty neat because I can add this multiple times and set it to different stuff. So stuff like spells and guns would be something totally different. So now that I changed this to left and right weapon, it's gonna register my sword because the handle type of weapon is one hand. And what I'm gonna do is first, let's test this out. And I wanna see the hit reaction. So if I hit this guy, I don't have any reactions to it because I haven't set up my hit. You can tell he's taking damage because of the whole red lighting material. And in order to change that, you'll go over to your character blueprint, go to your effects manager component, and you'll see this hit material and you can change this to whatever you want. And if you don't want this, you can just uncheck apply hit material. And so for example, let me try, I'll try changing it to just base material and I'll do a duration of 0.1. And now if I hit this guy, oh wait, he has hit me. So it'll just be this kind of white-ish texture that's really quick. And if I were to do something like one second, this is a lot more noticeable just for the tutorial. So yeah. So now let's add some hit reactions. So what I'm gonna wanna do is go over to my cow action set or the action set and all I need to do for this case is just add a montage and the action is going to be ACF hit action. And the tag name is going to be actions.hit. And since I don't have any hit animations, I'm going to go ahead and just retarget them from ACF. So I'll just find this actions.hit under ACF. And these ones are a bit too dramatic for me. But I am going to just right click and click retarget animations and then select my character. And then in the search, I'm going to select hit or type in hit. So now I'll just, yeah, so this one's a lot more, a lot smaller. So I'll just select these four and I'll click export and I'll export it to my animations. It's just at the cow prefix because I'm working with a cow. Hit export. And now I want to turn these into a montage. So I'll just click one and type in create anim montage and this will be called cow hit am for animation montage and i'll also make sure that these are all root motion so i'll right click all four of them go to asset actions edit selection property matrix control a to select all and then i'll type in root on the right here you don't need if you do it like this it'll be one by one just type in root on your detail search and then click check and they'll all be checked here and then i'll hit save and now I can exit out of this now that it's saved and I'll go back and I'll continue creating my montage. And what I want to do is create these little mappings. So this one is the hit back. So I'm just going to add the rest of my hit reaction. So I'll add the front here, the left here and the right here. So I'm going to want to just click on this and change it from default to back. And then I'll right click up here, do a new montage section and call this front. And then I'll add another one 
and call this left. And then I'll add another one and call this right. And now I'll just make sure I line it up to where it starts. And make sure that when you go to your montage sections, you're going to want to remove the links because they won't, because they're not going to play all of them after you get hit. You don't want every animation to go off because that'll be really annoying. So go to your montage section, click on this arrow, remove link for all of them. So it'll be just like this. Now I'll click save. And now under my cow action set, I'm just going to select that montage action. And you can see that if we expand our hit directions to montage section map, front, back, right, left are all labeled exactly how we did it in our montage. So it'll be just like this. As long as your spelling's right, it'll work. And you can have it cost certain attributes or something. I'm not sure why you would want that. Uh, check that out. So now let's test this out. So I'll hit compile. And because our action set is set to the AI that I created and my character, this should work. This should work both ways. So if I go ahead and just attack him, he's going to have that hit reaction and the same to me. What? So he has a hit reaction, but I don't. All right. So I figured out the reason why I wasn't taking hit reactions right away is because in the new ACF update, there's an RPG statistics for equilibrium. That pretty much just determines that how many takes, how many hits it's going to take in order for you to start getting that hit reaction. So currently it's set to 60. If I do a has regen value and let's do a regen value of like a hundred regen delay is one. Then in this case, then in this case, I can just keep taking hits as long as there's that one second regen break. But if I were to take hits over and over pretty quick, I would start having that hit reaction. So I would just delete the statistic, compile, and now the very first hit is just going to cause that hit reaction. And you can see on the top left that it's printing out that action thought hit. But yeah, glad I got that working. Thanks for watching Code with Bro. Like and subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.